Good morning, guys. So I'm out here admiring my key lime trees. As you guys know, I have two of them, and the, this year they super outdid themselves. Last year, uh, around September, I was harvesting them. This year, I let them sit on the tree, and I'm using them as I need them. So every morning before I go to work, I grab a few because I always eat uh, fruit with lemon and a little bit of chili pepper. Um, the powder kind and as you can see although that I've been grabbing tons of these little key limes and picking up the ones that are dropping the, this tree is still completely loaded with key limes as you can see this is the tree that gave me the hardest time I made so many mistakes with this tree because I had an idea of growing a key lime like a lollipop so I wanted it the tree to be you know like stick and then it to be round little did I know that the habit of this grow the growing habit of this tree was completely not compatible with the idea of how I wanted to grow it so I'm going to show you guys something as you can see there's tons of cuttings that I did because I didn't want any um, branches coming out of the bottom of the branch. And before I knew it, all I had was two branches going upwards. And it was completely, I would have to say, it looked ugly. I just totally made all the mistakes I possibly could with this tree. And when I discovered that this tree had a, a different um, growing habit with this tree, uh, I realized that I had to let it be. I couldn't continue to be trimming the branches off the trunk. I had to just let it grow. Um, and I did. And once I did that, it was just so much happier. And as you can see, the tree is completely loaded. So I am definitely expecting it next year to be even more loaded. This is the first year that I let it grow out like it should have been for years. I've had this tree for maybe about five years. And um, yes, this tree would have been much bigger um, it would have been loaded with fruit. And this one, I got it around the same time. However, this one was not as mature as that one when I received it. I per This one was given to me, and it was already maybe about five years old when, I, when it was given to me. And this one was just a little baby, maybe about a year old. And as you can see, because I let this one grow however it felt like growing, uh, with the exception of sometimes cutting some branches that were crossing each other in the middle of this, um, these, the tree, you can see that they almost look like they're the same age, but they're not. You can see the difference. This one's much bigger. This one's getting there. Um, however, although this one um, had a rough start, is more. It has more key limes than this one does and that's a, that's completely understandable considering that this one's not as mature as the other tree because the more the older the trees are the more fruit they will provide so as you can see just a quick little lesson when you purchase a tree make sure you, that you do some research and find out what kind of growing habit the tree has do research look at pictures that way you get an idea of how your tree is going to grow that's also going to give you an idea of where you can put the tree because once you know the growing habits you know what kind of space that tree is going to need once it hits maturity okay these are dwarf trees so i didn't have to worry about it i've had them in pots for the last five years and uh, I've just been doing what I do with all my citrus and containers. If you guys haven't seen um, what I've done, go back and look for the video where I repotted my conquats um, and gave it some root pruning and repot it to refresh all the soil in there. I do that with these type of trees maybe every, every two to three years uh, because I want to avoid that they get root bound and I want to make sure that they continue to thrive and grow and produce. Okay, so every three years is not bad considering how much fruit the tree's giving you. So that is my quick little lesson on my key lime and growing habits and what to do every couple years if you're deciding to grow your citrus in containers. And as you know, I have tons of citrus in containers. This is my Meyer lemon. This is in the ground, and sad to say, this tree has less fruit than my, this is a Eureka lemon, and I have a Eureka lemon in the, tr in the in a container that's probably not as mature as this one, as you can see how thick the trunk is. Let me just show you, just because this tree is my pride and joy, and it's probably taught me 
most of what I know about growing citrus in containers. I also have a video on that, on everything this Eureka Lemon taught me throughout the years. I've had this for about seven or eight years, and I've learned so much with it. But anyways, guys, as you can see, it's in a container, and it is super, super loaded with fruit. A lot more than the tree that's in the ground that came with this house. Here are some more um, citrus. These are my conquats growing in a container. I absolutely love these. Um, <laughs> these don't last very long. I actually want to grow some more because I just devour these as soon as they, they get ripened. And as you can see, they're in a container. And I do have a video on when I re repotted these in the same container. I just had to pull them out, refresh the soil, and um, take care of them so they can continue to thrive. So yes, I feel like I'm rambling just because I absolutely love talking about my citrus. This is my kefir lime. Anyways, guys, just a quick lesson on my key limes and what I learned about them. And I wanted to show you what they look like. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try my best to answer as soon as possible, but if not, usually the weekends is when I have a break and I go through all the messages. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.